got a 210 camera photogrammetry rig. So we're going to be 3D scanning you. So essentially taking a picture from a bunch of different angles and then we're going to be recreating a, a 3D image of you. And so there's certain things that scan well and certain things that don't scan well. We were at SIGGRAPH um, set up with our joint ICVR scan truck booth showcasing our JSON demo. And across the way from us, we were seeing these really cool sliders for facial poses. And so we went over to kind of check out what they were doing. And they were like, oh, well, we wanted to come talk to you guys. And so I think that it was a pretty synergistic fit. That second one was perfect. Reillusion built this amazing futuristic tool. And it's really cool the way that we can work together because we capture the, the data, we capture the, the likeness of the person. And we illusion build tools that allow us to optimize these models for animation and get them ready for a game. And the models that we captured today, they can be used for games. You can throw them in the architectural renderings, populating with characters. My first thoughts of seeing the truck with all of those cameras was, I don't even know. <laughs> I think I just didn't even comprehend it. It was unlike anything I've walked into before. I have no idea what this means. A truck scan, cool. I had no idea that you could do that inside of a truck. I was thinking so hard about not blinking when my eyes felt dry. Don't blink, don't blink, <laughs> don't blink, because I always blink whenever the flash was off. I thought the runway had a lot of cameras. Oh, this is nothing, <laughs> like this is way more. The 3D scanning process is not over as soon as that picture is taken. And for us at ICVR, it's really just beginning. Uh, we take these series of images, hundreds of images, and it's our job to reconstruct those into a high quality photorealistic 3D model. The model reconstruction pipeline is it's still pretty labor intensive in the way that it requires a lot of artist time and input per, to go through each model step by step on reconstructing it, realigning the photos, doing the manual cleanup, texture cleanup, generating the maps, and making sure that it's pretty much picture perfect. As computer graphics software evolves, you expect to see the humans that are represented digitally evolve with that. And it's really hard to beat the realism of a one-to-one -one scan of a real person turned into a 3D model. And in the past, it's been very expensive. And uh, we as content creators, we feel the pain of people out there who see these high quality models, but for whatever reason, budget or so on, uh, it's not accessible and they can't use them. And I'm really excited to see what people do with these models that we've worked really hard on and how Reillusion software can help bring them to life. In the case of the stolen jade line, a statue thought to imbue omniscience, the question from the constabulary arose. How could one track a thief once they had knowledge equal to the gods themselves?